Hello, my name is Rakhi Singh. I am working as a data scientist for last one decade. Today I am going to tell you something about R programming. R has a long history. R was written back in 1976 by John Chambers along with their colleagues in Bell Laboratories. It was written in Fortran and the main motive was to do statistical calculations. Later on it became so popular that in 1990s it was rewritten in C by Ross and Robert Gentleman. Later on it was suggested to Ross and Robert that they should make it free under GNU license and in 1993 R became free software. So anyone can download it and use it for their personal or commercial purpose. A official team of R was built in 1995 and the first official version of R as 1.0.0 was released in 2000. And since then R has never looked back. It has, been, it has become more popular, more used in different fields of science. So R is being used by different statisticians, researchers, scholars, scientists, students in various fields of science like astrophysics, nuclear physics, quantum chemistry, quantum physics, biostatistics, econometrics, geostatistics and names are endless. Now I am going to discuss some features of R. Why R is so popular and what are the salient features? R is very simple to use, very simple to learn. R, you can do any data manipulation and data cleaning in R. You can do data modeling in R and visualizations are very great. You can make any type of interactive graph, map, bubble chart, histogram, bar graph, pie, any type of advanced or basic graph in R. Although R started its journey as a statistical software, but right now it is being used in different walks of science like physics, chemistry, psychology, human behavior, etc. And there are reasons behind it. Initially, when R was released, there were only eight base packages. What do I mean by packages? Means the functionality which it is providing to the user. Right now, there are more than 6000 packages and all these packages are contributed by different researchers, developers across the globe. So these packages, they are the power of R. So whatever functionality you want to test, implement or perform in any field or any domain of science, art or analytics, you have that functionality in R. Now there is one more reason which has came up in last few years which is responsible for the popularity of R is data analytics. Now why it is that we are using R in data analytics? Data analytics is analyzing some patterns, some features from the data. Some time, long time back when the data was not so huge, we could easily do this task with the help of SQL queries, writing queries in Teradata, Natiza, Oracle, SQL Server, etc. But as the world grew, e-commerce grew, this data size has increased from gigabyte to terabyte, petabyte, zettabyte. Now it is beyond the capacity of a human mind to understand this data to find out the patterns. So here comes the need to help take a help of a software or a programming language which can do this. Statistics and machine learning have their own techniques to analyze the data. These techniques are well implemented in R which can be used by a layman to analyze the data and see the patterns. So let's first have a look over the statistical techniques like regression. Regression is a very old technique which is used by people in comparing or finding the relationship between two set of data. Now this technique is implemented in R in a stat package. You can download this package and implement it in the R and see the patterns. So machine learning is any type of algorithm which can learn itself by the data. That is we will not tell the program that you have to do this or that. The program itself will learn from data. Like if we are writing a game of chess, one way of writing this program is I should write the if and else conditions that do this, do this, do this. Another way of writing this program is rather than me telling that what should it do, the program itself should learn these things. So what we can do, we can make a basic game 
basic program which will play against different people or different other computers and by this playing it will gradually understand when it wins or when it loses this state this information will be stored in the program memory or program database and gradually after playing thousands millions and billions of runs it will become an expert in the chess now in order to perform this task we need some techniques some algorithms these algorithms are coming from machine learning so there are various type of task which we can perform with the help of machine learning like classification clustering time series analysis basket analysis so we have seen from the example of chess that we need huge data in order to build a perfect machine learning program 10 years back we didn't have that much data it was growing e-commerce was booming up but now all the companies or banking and financial software they have huge data with them they are ready to implement or test these machine learning algorithms on their data so the, now we have a requirement that we should analyze our data and we should improve our business in order to implement these algorithms we need some software and r is one of them which is very useful for implementing and testing machine learning algorithms on our data set and it is easy to learn easy to use so that's why r is so popular in past few years that people are implementing it using it and analyzing their data and trying to improve their business thanks for watching our channel request you to press the subscribe button in our youtube channel and also press the alarm button so that you will get immediate notification in case of any new video upload